So right now I'm calibrating it. This is the Apple Newton 300, the E-Mate. Yeah, you can kind of already tell this, the hinge is broken. But anywho, other than that, it's an easy fix. Um, so this is the Apple Newton. You can't see it that well because it's not backlit. Also, I have no light in the room. There's only one light. But I'm going to open up the, uh, the extras. This is the extras. You got in out. I don't know what that is. I'm guessing that's data transfer. Or some sort of tour to card. Notes. Calls. Dock card, calculator, formulas, time zones, clocks, styles, preferences, owner information, names, dates, and classroom dock. And uh, this is the keyboard. It is not ISO, it's a full 77 keyboard. Um, here you have, uh, I guess it's a PCIMA part. I do have one card for it, I guess if it is. It's a CD drive port. I seriously doubt it will work with it because it's a Windows based computer. Um, over here we have some transfer ports. I've never seen them before. Power cable. Audio cable, which is where you heard the boot chime. I'm guessing this is some sort of indicator. This is the top. The old Rainbow Apple logo. Your, uh... Oh, it is backlit. Huh, what do you know? Well, I just found that out actually just now. I got this at noon today. It's 7.09 p.m. As it says on my old, on my iBook. So, now I know it's, now it's easier for me to use. Um, so, this is the screen for extras. This is where you type. It's a really cute computer. All my classmates loved it. Undo, find. So it's basically like Microsoft Word, but overview. I don't know what that is. I don't even know what half the buttons do on these on this thing. There it goes again. Anywho, other than a loose hinge, which is easily fixable for me, um, it's a really nice keyboard. I like the way it feels. Um, let's turn the light off. Okay, it just turned itself off, I'm guessing, because I heard the audio turn off. This is the back of it. Uh, this is the RAM key, um, compartment I'm going to just take a random guess at. Um, it's again PCMI, I guess. I'm just going to unplug it because it's starting to get really irritating. Uh, let's turn this around so you can get a better view of it. This kind of looks like almost an HDMI port, even though I definitely know it wasn't, because HDMI was not invented back in the 19, uh, 1997, 1998. And this is kind of a little problem I've been having here with this thing. Like, I, I could care less for it, though, because it's not important. There's two types of in-out. I guess this is an in-out port. Um, but on the other side, it looks like um, like I used to have a Dell Inspiron 15, 15E or something like that. It looks like the... Uh, the screen port that you hook it up to the projector. Um, there I go. Nope. Anyway, yeah, that's what it would look like. I do have a connector for it, but not just for this one. There is your IR part is right here, and that's it. As you probably could tell, I have. I guess officially begun collecting Macintoshes. I didn't really want to start doing it. So we're moving in a few days, but I said, what the heck, I'll do it anyway. Um, I don't know if you can tell, I got a new battery for this too today. It just finished charging. Um, and I am getting a PowerBook 165C with all the accessories and original box and everything. Um, but it needs a new battery, so I'm going to get a new battery for it. Also, my projector blew up. 
and the iris is broken so that has to be replaced too and I gotta get a new battery for my MacBook Pro 17 inch right over here and um, so yeah next week or this week I'm hoping I'll be getting my uh, PowerBook i65C so I'll see you then